there is a hierarchy here and we probably need to figure out the hierarchy. I suspect the Unix folks have already done it. But the the part of the reason why this in some sense it it doesn't even matter that much to have the hierarchy is that right now these language model systems they don't actually have a semantic understanding of commands at least to the best of my knowledge. So I think that there is some work that's going on at places like MIT with Armando's group with neurosymbolic reasoners and also getting into some of the stuff that we're building at Merle. Those systems do have semantic reasoning components, but most of the language models, and I'm talking about language model that's like vanilla language model. Neural networks on their own, to the best of my knowledge, have no reasoning capabilities. There is no logical reasoning system in them. And without logic, you can't reason. In order to have a logical system or a logical reasoner that has value, you have to understand the semantics of things. You have to have some sense of what a thing is and its, its meaning potentially related to other things. For example, you have a, have a number, like the number seven, and then you'd say, I know the semantics of this, this, this is a number, and it represents a value. And then you see the plus operator, and you're like, that is an arithmetic operation. It's a binary arithmetic operation, and it functions on two numbers. And then the system would say, I understand the semantics of what's being expressed here. I can now perform this operation. But it's only because they understand the semantics that they're able to reason about these things, which gives them the ability to detect errors. Like, for example, if you tried to do seven plus silver surfer, it doesn't make sense, really. I mean, aside from the alliteration, which was completely accidental, this, this doesn't mean anything. What does seven plus silver surfer mean? And not, nothing. And so a language model might, we could probably take that input and try to make something up. But a logical reasoner would just freeze. It would say, this doesn't make sense. Logically, you, you, I cannot give you a value for this. These are incompatible uh, objects, essentially. And that gets into the the uh, symbolic part of the neural part. So neural symbolic reasoning, the symbols, symbols are what we're talking about. 